Rock's channel right now. Let's get it! All right, today it is Brock, and we are here for an episode of All About. But this is different. It's not a fish this time. We're learning about a pest. It is called an Aptasia. You know them. Everybody knows them. They're going to be in your tanks. They are hitchhikers. And there's ways to get rid of them, so we're going to learn about them, and we're going to learn how to get rid of them. Because nobody wants an Aptasia in their tank. They're bad. And uh, the only people that want them in their tank are people who think they're pretty. But most people don't. So let's learn how to get rid of them and what they are. Aptasias are also known as the glass anemone or a tube anemone. Like I said, they are hitchhikers from your live rock or coral. You know, you can get them at any time. No matter if it's you're starting off your tank or you get a coral later, you're always going to have a chance of getting Aptasias. They are a soft coral that can reproduce at rates that you must keep under control. I mean, there can only be one in there, and then you just say, oh, it's just one. Well, then you got a month later, and you got like 15 in there. So why should you kill them? You know, you know but what if you like them? You know, people are like that. They like them. Well, they're going to sting your corals if tentacles touch them. You know, like, I've never seen a coral beat an aptasia except my bubble coral my bubble coral tentacle latched onto one one time and like evaporated it it was crazy but everything else i've seen that aptasias have touched i mean they're just killing it every single day and they'll like yeah they'll kill them eventually so the best thing to kill them with would be aptasia away or aptasia x i've seen better results with aptasia away on keeping them gone longer but, you know, whatever's working for you, try it out. They both come with, like, the same exact supplies. So, uh, they're always going to, like, the Aptasias are always going to come and go. You know, you're never going to completely get rid of them forever. Eventually, there's going to be one ending up somewhere in there. So, just make sure you're keeping them under control. You can also get fish or crustaceans to take care of them. Like, a peppermint shrimp is a really good one to get. Their main object to eat is an Aptasia. So those are cool to get. Make sure to get a couple of them, but don't get too many because, I mean, if you run out of Aptasias to eat, they're just going to die if they're not scavenging for other stuff. And one of the best fish I've seen for it is the copper band butterfly. They do really good on just pecking these dudes out in their hole because if you've ever noticed, whenever if you ever end up touching them, they just suck up so hard in that little hole that you can't even get to them. But the butterfly's snout, you know, is so long you can get up in there and take them out. So both chemicals are going to come with a bottle, a needle, and uh, I don't know why I said syringe. <laughs> That's what it is. But, uh, you know, it holds the liquid. You just suck some up, and you're going to squirt a pretty good amount on the mouth of the anemone. I hope this video is helping you all see how to do it. And spraying enough on there is going to make sure that they eat enough to kill them. You know, you don't want to get in there and just spray a little bit and it only like disintegrate half their body because then what happens like if you get in there with a needle and just start stabbing at one the eggs are just going to release all over your tank and it's going to be real bad because then you're just going to have aptasias everywhere and make sure like eventually if you let them go long enough they start growing like in a little spot together like a, in a little you know little group and if you spray just like the area, like I said, it's not going to get enough on their mouth. Just be patient and get each one one at a time, one at a time. Just go and pecking them off, pecking them off. So before you do it, make sure to turn off any flow in the tank. That's just going to make it hard on you whenever you're trying to squirt it in the head and it just shoots out everywhere. So make sure to turn everything off. Leave the lights on, of course, so you can see better. And just make sure to... Another thing is to suck up the chemicals. I'm pretty sure I do this in there. Whenever you suck up the sponge that you sprayed, it's going to suck up that carcass and any kind of eggs that he's laying out right there. Just suck all that up, and you'll have an Aptasia-free tank for at least a little while. I hope this helps y'all out. I know it's a, a problem any tank holder of salt water is going to go through. So this is the things to try. If you want my opinion, I'd just go with the chemicals. It's easier on me don't have to get a fish that I have to correspond with my other fish and crustaceans you know 
I can just get that chemical sprayed in there, suck it back out, and it's good to go. I hope this helped y'all. Make sure to like and subscribe for these All About videos. Make sure to check back in a couple days for the next episode. Maybe we'll be learning about a fish. I'm not sure yet. Hope y'all have a good day. Hope y'all be safe out there. Make sure don't text and drive.